I'm Tanya from Soapish and today I'm going to be making a soap using these lovely brambleberry ingredients including a few from their um, Bohemian Blooms collection. Um, this collection reminds me of California during its peace and love era. It's just fun and free-spirited and it has a few hemp ingredients which I'm super excited about. Um, the design itself is inspired by my love of California because I'm a California native and just summer vibes and beach sunsets and desert sunrises and kind of a little nod to 70s surf graphic design. Um, the technique is a moderate to advanced. Um, it's a two-day process and so you can either double the batch and then split it and save one for one day and one for the next or you can just make the batch twice. Um, if you're gonna make this, make sure you use proper safety, gloves, goggles, and all of that good stuff. So yeah, let's get started. I've gathered my ingredients here, including the two molds I'll be using, plus the hemp oil, hemp butter, and the ray of sunshine fragrance from Brambleberry's Bohemian Blooms collection. I've melted my oils and I'll start by preparing the color. I like to use one tablespoon from my base oils, but you can use any lightweight oil for this. Then I add one teaspoon of the Racing Stripe Orange Mica and blend it well with a mini hand mixer. I'll slowly and carefully add my cool lye water to my oils and blend it to a light trace. After that, I'll add the color and the fragrance, 1.6 ounces. And then I blend that up some more. I like to clean as I go, as you can see. Okay, I'm gonna take this silicone column mold and stand it up in a jar, and then I'll pour the soap into it. It can also be propped against a wall. Um, the important thing is that it's not moved until the soap is completely set up. So stabilize it somewhere, and then let that set up overnight. Once the soap is set, I'm going to remove half of the mold, leaving the other half of the soap inside the mold. I like to use this cake leveling tool for this because it makes it easier and they're pretty easy to find, but a knife works too, so I'll just slice that in half to make a half sun shape, or a half moon. I use a small knife just to clean up the edges. And then with the extra soap, you can make these cute little half cylinder bars if you want. I melted my oils and dissolved my lye just like I did on day one. And I prepare my colors the same way using my base oils and one teaspoon of each color and two teaspoons of the titanium dioxide. And then I mix each one thoroughly with a mini hand mixer. So again, I'll slowly add the lye to the oils, and the trick here is that I'm only gonna pulse the mixer two or three times, because the key to layered soaps is to keep the soap fluid until you're ready to use it. I don't want to over mix it, so I pulse and then hand mix until the oil and water are combined and uniform in color. Now I'm gonna take a scale and weigh out eight ounces of soap. And then I'm gonna do that three times. and I'll pour the rest into a fourth container. 
Then I add the color to the three containers and the white to the one with the largest amount. I love these two ounce bottles of fragrance because it's almost the exact amount I need and I'm going to pour about a quarter of it into the pink pitcher. Now what makes soap set faster usually is mixing plus fragrance. So we're using that to our advantage in this design. I add the fragrance, mix really well, and I found that this fragrance in particular accelerates just a little bit, which is perfect for this design. Then I'll take a towel and prop the mold up on an angle and get the soap into the mold. The amount of time it takes for the layers to set will be different depending on several things, including which fragrance or essential oil you're using. Some can set up in a minute or two, others can take up to 10 or 15 minutes. And I'll repeat this process two more times with the remaining two colors, pouring carefully over a spatula so that I don't cut into the underneath layer. I'll grab that half sun that I set aside earlier and very, very carefully lower the uh, sun with the flat side down onto the top of the soap. And then I pat it gently just to remove any gaps that might be trapped underneath. But don't push it in too far. And then lastly, I'll take the last pitcher with the white and I'll add my fragrance and mix that up. and then take the towel out and fill in all the gaps. I like to wait for this soap to set up a little bit thicker so that I can um, texturize the top. And now the fun part. I take the back of a spoon and just push the soap up to give it some height and some texture. A full recipe and ingredient list including links to buy everything in this video can be found in the description. Thanks for watching!